welcome to leaders connect an online leadership community community where leaders create more leaders organized by the mask leadership my name is rangarajan i am uh, deputy manager in national justice taking leader connect is started with a specific objective of creating uh, 1000 plus leaders where all working professionals and business people share their real time charges either leading self others are leading their business uh, the challenges as uh, we have shared on our website www.themasleadership.com uh, we see all the challenges filter them and every week on wednesday we invite the top management leader who will uh, be giving solution for our real time challenges on leadership the that's when we call less leaders create more leaders sir good evening how are you sir good evening good evening everyone uh, yes. all the members of, of leaders connect prakash uh, umesh uh, and the uh, fellow leaders out here it's great to be invited to this uh, wonderful platform which you have uh, created uh, recently and uh, already grown to a strength of more than 70 leaders from diverse uh, industry sectors diverse backgrounds diverse experiences i am looking forward to this interaction with you all thanks thanks very much sir so, uh, in this particular topic uh, digital age leadership anchors members as well as the participants are all the uh, uh, visitors who have been in here a specific and a peculiar topic digital age leadership i mean in fact you could have seen a lot of traditional leadership styles are there but in today's current digital age what kind of a leadership are required is what in fact mr chetan is going to share with us for uh, and before uh, he shares more and i would also like to introduce one of our panel discussion leader mr umesh shetty who is uh, the manager from sourcing from hitachi energy limited who is here with us to also interact and ask a couple of questions to mr chetan for the same so over to mr umesh for quickly to ask a couple of questions on the specific topic digital age leadership anchors yes mesh Uh, thanks prakash and uh, thank you mr chetan for joining and uh, providing us insights on uh, digital leadership and uh, my question to you is not mine it is from the leaders yes. leaders connect group may we know what are the prerequisites to become a digital age leadership anchor and with some practical examples or situation examples from your side thank you umesh for that uh, question uh hey, the digital le- leadership i think there are five anchors which are critical i'll uh, take one at a time and explain some of them with examples and how it has personally benefited me to uh, succeed or rather be successful in this uh, digital age so the first uh, anchor which i think very crucial is uh, of course uh, knowledge and when i say knowledge what i'm talking about is not uh, only uh, the academic or domain knowledge which is changing uh, in the subject in the degrees and diplomas that we teach but it is also important for a leader today's world digital age to assimilate the various information that he gets true clean out the crucial knowledge from that or critical information from that and share that with his team and make sure that the team is able to act on that information or that data or that uh, uh, convert that into knowledge which will help them to make better decisions to solve problems and come up with solutions so the thing of course is for a space and education like us has been important to become part of uh, associations of, of forums which bring value and knowledge to uh, us as an educational group now to give it now the next uh, uh, digital anchor i think which has helped me and which uh, uh, continues to do so is my ability to network rapidly in a digital world and i'm sure networking was there earlier in the leadership also but it was more limited to your domestic your local uh, environment today's networking is literally uh, Uh, there are global opportunities for you to network. The two points we shared: the first anchor was on knowledge, and the second anchor was on network. Third anchor, uh, Mr. Chit. Yeah. So the third and fourth, uh, I would say, uh, one is of course personal branding. I believe today, uh, because of the digital age, where uh, uh, a tablet or a mobile phone is an extension of our body, uh, yeah. 
we are very active uh, socially and when i say socially i'm talking about social media you know your you have your personal branding would happen when your photo came in a newspaper or in a business magazine in on the cover of a business magazine where there was limited opportunity for branding i think digital has allowed you to brand yourself on a daily basis on a hourly basis you can literally <laughs> use that for branding yourself personally depending on what uh, line of work you are into and well uh, uh, besides that i think the other one is very uh, critical in digital age is uh, your inclination towards innovation having an innovation inclination and inclination towards being abreast with the technological changes that are happening around us so barring this for the last one i think uh, in, uh, in spite of all things which are rigid related related to digital i think businesses institutions should have a purpose at the end a purpose a common a purpose which unites all the people who work for that organization uh, in spite of the digital era i think there are a lot of uh, emotional and heart uh, driven factors which are very critical and uh, i think each one of us here today uh, believes in the fact that uh, products and services that we consume need to uh, need to be sensitive towards the environment and what planet we are going to leave for the next few generations to come and i think that also is driving many products and services to look look inside and create a purpose for their existence which adds value to society as such true so thank you so much for uh, elaborated answer and i think you have given like a miracle uh, bullet for, uh, compacted with the, your year of experiences and uh, i think uh, we loved it i think 